touched on we touched on uh, data transformation Use Sorry, this, uh, Mr. Gide, want... is it possible to maybe uh, increase your volume a little bit? It, okay. It looks very faint. Let me... Okay, yes. I think I can. We started um, with um, uh, data exploration, which we looked at uh, in, the, in the early days, uh, but we later moved on to... Um, and later moved on to, what's it called? Uh, data transformation. And by uh, by some series of transformation processes, like like we want to achieve, uh, like we want to achieve or uh, combining data, we want to combine data, you know. So uh, and we looked at two different methods to achieve that. We we looked at append and and merge. Uh, I think we can uh, start with transpose. We concluded our studies on merge yesterday, so we can start with transpose then. Uh, um, then later on next week we will start we do pivot on pivot and and group by and and move on from there you know so let's uh let's look at what transpose is really all about and I know it's it's a it's a word that we are all familiar with you know um so it's so we can just take um a, a closer look at it and see how how it is done uh in Power Query so let me just um share a data set, you know, uh, as usual, I love to use a very simple data set so that we can really understand what, what is really happening, you know, so I'll just continue with that, with that trend, you know, so I'm opening the, okay. Okay, so this data set we'll be using um let's see okay trying to close some windows that just popped up now let me close this okay let's look at the data sets you know we this is a table you know and if you can see we it's uh it has some values here in the first column and they look like headers really they look like head look like our typical headers you know so we have the other dates cheap date uh sales quantity discount and profit and the truth is that uh data our data source you know our data can come in any shape you know it's it, 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 there's no particular way or there's no there's no general form you know, in which data can come. It can come in any shape, in any form, in any manner, you know? So it depends on uh, the, what's it called? The, 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 the source, you know, the storage, how the how it is being stored. It depends on who is storing it and the manner the person or the organization wants it stored. So in this case, the person storing this data has put the headers, you know, in the first column. And these are the values. These other days, you no. Know, in the first, uh, what's it called? In the first row here, we can see that all the values after this other date or uh, cell or other dates, all the values from it, they, 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 they represent dates, you know? They are, they, are, they are dates, you know? Even ship dates are dates as well. And here, this, we have the sales, the sales value here, you know? We also have the quantity sold, the discount given, and the profit made, you know? So we have them in this manner, not in our conventional, when you say tabular form, you know, most times tabular form, it's, we have, we do have our headers on top, you know, that is the, that is the way we want uh, our, uh, our data to, to look like when we want to do our transformation, because that is how, uh, that is how we perceive uh, clean data to be generally. And that is the shape and form that is easy for for transformation for analysis you know when you love to have it in that way for you to be able to analyze your data nobody loves to analyze data in this manner so we can now reshape this data to conform to that manner i was referring to that means that that's, that is having uh headers on top rather than we having it by the side you know so it can be done in excel actually 
And for some of us that are familiar with it, the simple way to do it in Excel is just to select, you know, select everything, control A, then go to, then copy it. You make a copy of it, control C. Then I want to put it in this cell. You select a cell where you want to put it, where you want to paste it, you know. Uh, you can do, can come to, I can right click and choose, oh, let me go back again. I think I didn't copy, control C. Let me go, let, let me do that again. Control A, then control C. Uh, I want to put it here. Let me right click. Okay, okay, let me enable editing, sorry. I've not enabled editing, so I can't do any editing per se. So let me do that before I start again, okay, fine. Okay, I have that enabled now. So Control A, Control C, then I come here, I do paste. This is the sign for transpose. You can see transpose here. So this is the icon for transpose. Once you click on that, you can see the data. You know, it has taken the form and shape I, I was speaking about earlier, you know. So we have, uh, now what happens is, in transform in transpose, you know what happens is this: all the rows, you know, become columns. Now the first row here becomes the first column. You can see the first, the first, um, the first entry in the first row is other date is the first entry in the first column, <laughs> followed by the dates, and we have the dates here. So it's like we are rotating it at an angle of 90 degrees, you know, can just, just visualize it that way. So you can see the second row here becomes our second column. The third row here becomes the third column and so on and so forth. So that is how this now to us a clean data. This is the shape you want our data, you know, to take before we proceed with our analysis. No, I've used, uh, I've done this using Excel, so we can also do this using um, Power Query. So let's just jump into Power Query and see how that is done. You know? So I'll go to Power Query. Um, in Power Query, first thing, don't forget, we have to bring in our data. Um, I want to minimize this again, sorry. Okay, bring in our data. How do, this, how do we do that? We go to, we go to Home. Um, new source from an Excel worksheet so I have to navigate to where the data is somewhere here softnet made you no know, transpose data okay so if, because Power Query is open it won't ask me if I want to do the transform because I'm in Power Query already. So I just want to bring in this data, transpose, this is a table, transpose table. Or let me say this work, work you know, worksheet because this is the icon of a worksheet, you know, and it has, there's only one table in that worksheet. So if I, so if you, if you check again, this is the worksheet transpose. Now there's only one table, it's not seeing this table because I have not saved it. So, and you know, if I save it now, it will be seeing two tables now. So I can as well remove this to avoid confusion, you know. Let me just remove this, you know, to avoid confusion. So this is what we are bringing in. We are bringing in just this table. So, um, and that is it. Let me, I'll just select my OK button and that should bring transpose here. So you can see we, this is exactly what we, we have here. You know, the headers, what are, or what is supposed to be headers, you know, we have it on the on the left hand side on the first column, and that's not what we want, you know. So here, we, so now we need to trans we need to transform this data. There are so many options. Here. There's home, there's transform, there's add column. You know, as we go on, we know the difference between uh, these uh, these options we have here. But what we want to do now, just from simple English, we want to transform this table. We are not adding a column. So we want to transform this table, you know? So that should tell us that we should go to the transform tab, you know? So we don't, and again, we don't have to select any, any table or any column rather. 
you can select any column. You don't, you don't, there, there is no hard and fast truth that a column, a particular column will be selected. As long as any column is selected, you know, you transform the whole table. Even, I know, I even made this column selected. You know, on, on getting here, I, I didn't select this. So it was pre-selected. So to tell you that I didn't, I don't have to change to another column. I can just leave it the way it is. I don't, and just transform the old table as it were. So with the transform tab selected, there's a transpose ribbon here. Is a tool or no? Table is a ribbon, and transpose is a tool in this ribbon. You know, so there's a tool here. You know that is transpose. Then there's something we need to take care of. Okay, I, I think I'll, I'll I'll make mention of that in the next example we'll be we'll be looking at. So we transpose with the transform or you know, tab selected. I just I'll just click on transpose, and that will you can see it has transposed the table. You know, just like that. And if we look closely again, we will see that this row, this first row here. You know, they look like our header role, you know. That means they are meant to be here, really. Because if you check the the headers we have here, you know, they are column one, column two, column three. You know, they are not the headers we are expecting because you must have at the back of the mind what you what you are expecting at the end of each transformation process or each, or each transformation step. You are, we want this to be our header, you know, just like this. This is our clean data, you know. This is what we are expecting. This is how we are expecting it to look like. So we are, we now need to go a step further, you know, by doing what? By promoting this as header, by promoting the first row as header. That's what we need to do again. And we can do that here. You know, we can do it in home tab. And this home tab, we can do it here and we can do it in transform tab. We want to transform this table again. So we can see stay on transform tab and do that. Use first row as header. That's it. So it will promote the first row, you know, as headers. And that is what, so every step we've taken, you know, is documented here. We can see from this, this was the stage we were in when we brought the data in, we were, it, was, it was like this, you know, it was like this. And it was this, all these, the first three steps were done by Power Query. No, and what we did was to transpose the table and we have it recorded here as a step. Then later on, we found out that we needed to go one more step. You know, we promoted headers and that is documented there in our applied step. Then finally, you know, after promoting header, Power Query, you know, because it's so intelligent, it can figure out a lot of things. It just felt that, okay, it needs to, you know, it needs to change the, the type, you know, the data type that you know, each each column or each header has, you know, so he changed, so he looked at this, he looked at it, you know, before, at this stage, when I promoted the header, this was not having a definite data type, you know, if you select this column and go to home, you will see the data type here, selecting column and go to home tab, it's having any, no definite data type, and it's meant to be a date, you know, this is meant, you know, to be a date as well. This is meant to be or the decimal decimal numbers, you know. So it says that, and it did that for us. When it does, when if you go to the change type, you know, it changed the type to. If you can see, if I click on this column, you can see it has changes to date. Click on this column, come look up here. It has changes to date. Click on this column, it has changes to decimal points. If it didn't do that for us, it's something we are, we are meant to do by ourselves, you know. But because it has already done it for us. We don't need to go through the rigor of doing that. And this and this is exactly the same thing as what we did in Power with uh, in Excel, you know. So we can actually do the same thing using Power Query. So let's let's look take a look at one more example and see a little or a minor difference, you know. Um let me go to new source again, go to Excel workbook, um transpose to okay. I think it's so. I'm bringing in another table, but before I, before we, I begin analyzing that in Power Query, let me open it in uh, what's it called in Excel, and let's see how the table itself looks like. You know, transpose to where are you? Okay,
Okay, protected view. Let me go and unprotect that. Just right click properties. Test protected. Just 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 uh um unblock it. Yeah, I think so. Apply. Okay. Transpose. Fine. So this is the this new table we have now. You know. Uh, we have our region. This is what I want to bring in. Uh, let me see. Region. No, not this. Not this. Sorry. Not this. Let me see. So it could it be this? Okay, fine. I think it's this. Yeah. So... This is another table that looks like you know the previous one, but we can see this looks like header names as well. You can see product name, you know this these names we these names we have here are the names of the products, you know, and these are the category types, the sales for pro for chair, you no, know, chair is a is it is a type of furniture. Then uh, the sales made from chair is this amount. The quantity sold is this. Discount given is this. So let's take this to Power Query and see a little difference. You no, know, we can as well transpose this again. If you transpose this using Excel, I'm not going to do it. We've done that. This is what we expect to see. We expect to just select everything, Control A, copy it, and do transpose. This is what we expect to see. This is the shape we want it to take. You know, we want these to be headers just like this you know you want our is like i said it's like making row columns so this first row here will be our first column so if that is what you want then you does then transpose is the tool you need to use you know you want to rotate your data set you know you want to rotate it it's you you are the one to you are the one that will figure out that yourself that okay this is not looking good for my analysis okay what do i need to do okay i think Okay, the way this data is presented, it's oh, it's presented um, what's called it's it's presented, it's presented in a way that I need to transpose it before I can continue my analysis. You know, once you figure that out, then it will be easy for you to know what to 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 use you know, to to really achieve that. So okay, I want all these to be in my to, to be in my first column. You can see everything the everything in the first row moves to the first column. Everything in the second row, you know, moves to the second column. Everything in the third row, starting from sales, then 16.48, sales, system. So that is where transpose works. So once you figure out, I think this is what I want to do, then the next thing is for you to use. If you are using Power Query for your, for that, I'm not bringing in this. I can cancel this. Um, Let me go to new source, Excel workbook. I'm bringing in this. I suppose, yeah. So, I'm bringing in this. Uh, so this is it. Not the clean one. The tr this one want to transpose this. Um, we select we select that box, tick that box, click on OK, then that brings it in. We can see it's giving it true because we had a what's it called, a query with the name transpose. So two queries cannot share the same name. So that we, it now put a two, suff, two suffix in front of it to show that, okay, there are two different queries. So this is it, we have it here now. We have it here, you know, just the way we have it. And if it's, if let's, let's just do, like I said, we'll leave it the way it is, you know, we can see it has, if they check the apply steps, there's source, there's navigation, it has promoted it as, it has changed type, you know? So like I said earlier, if you just go to want to transform this data and we just do transpose, just following the exact method I use earlier. You can see what the result is there. You can see we have product category as our first, uh, what's it called? As our as the as the first uh, what's it called? The first item in the, in the first row. But that's not let's look at the original data. Let's see, let's go back to before. We can go back here now. 
this original data, if I'm right. Let me see. Uh, I want to go back to okay, yeah, this original data. You know, this what you see in navigation view, it is what is in the data is in the data source. In this case, it's Excel. If you want to look at what you have, is rather than come here, rather than come here to check, okay, what do I have here? So you can as well do this in Power Query, just go to your navigation view, your navigation step. That's where you see the view of what you have in your Excel, you know? So you can see that you're expecting product name and product category sales, you know, to be the headers. Product name first on our first, we're expecting product name. Okay, let me put it this way. This is meant to be our first, this is our first row. It's meant to be our first column, like I explained earlier. So I'm expecting product name to be the first item, you know, in the first column, then followed by a chair underneath. But let's go to the last thing. I can see product category. So where is our product? Where is our product name? Here, I'm expecting in this in the second column, because this is second row. Don't forget, second row turns to the second column. I'm expecting product category to be the first item on the on second column, followed by furniture, then furniture. But in the transpose data, I can't see oh, uh, I can't see what's it called. What's it called? I, I can't see product category here. Or it, I can't see, oh, it's here. It's here, but it's in the second, it's in the first column, rather than it being in the second column. So that means I've lost some data. I've lost this first, I've lost uh, navigation view. I've lost product name, chair, chair, chair. That means I've lost an entire row of data by just applying, you know, by just following the same step, you know, we used in the first example. That's what we have to look at for because you might, uh, we, need, we need to take notes before we carry on, you know, before we carry on with the process, we need to check first if, if it's in, uh, if everything is in good, uh, or if, if everything is at a good point, you know, to really uh, apply that transformation process. And this is what I mean by that. Let's go back to the point at which I applied the transformation process. Let me go back to chain type. If you can see here, this is the point at which I applied this trans or transpose transformation process. You can see that pro product name has been made header here. You know, product name chair, it has been promoted to headers. You know, all this, they are now headers now. And that's one thing we should look out for. Unlike, let me look at, let's, let me tell you, let me, let's look at the first example, the first transpose we did. Before we did the transpose, you know, this is transpose. Let's move, let's move a, a step backwards, you know. This is, this is the point we were, we were at before we apply the transpose tool, you know, or the transpose process. Now, you can see that all our data sets, everything we want to transpose is here in the table. There is nothing here in the header column or in the header row. Assuming this is a row or, there, or we don't have any values here as headers. So we only have we only have column one, column two, and which are not valid. That means one thing we should note here is that before you transpose your table, make sure that all your data sets are in this table. You don't have anything as headers. Because once you do that, you will lose whatever you have as headers. The moment you do it, the moment you transpose that data. So let's go back to our, uh, what's it called, the, the, what's it called, the, the query we were looking at, you know. Let's go back to transpose too, you know. Um, this is the point we are at before we did the transpose. So I'm going to remove this transpose process now. I'm going to undo it. If you want to ju just click on this uh, rank or cross sign, and that's the way to undo in Power Query. It will remove that step you did. So now we have gone one step backwards now. So we are at where at the point where we need to do our we need to redo our reapply our transpose process now. Now the first thing is to remove because these are valid data. These are valid that we need for analysis. So we won't keep it as headers before we do our transpose. So we need to do what come here and use headers as first rule. That means we have to 
remove these headers, we move them down. We use them as first rows. Don't forget the other time we used, we promoted first row as headers, but now we are doing the opposite of it. We are using headers as first row. So we click on that and that does it, you know? So all the data we need for analysis, all the, the all our valid data are now in the table. We have nothing as headers. So the rule of thumb is that before you do your transpose, make sure that all your data, all, all the values, you know, they are in the table. You don't have anything as headers. So once you've done that, you can now safely apply your transpose to and voila, we have this. This is what we expected to see, you know, and we have it already. So we have everything transposed now. Then now we can now promote our first row as headers now, because we still want these as our as our header, you know. We still want this as our header. That's what we want. We want at the end of the day. So that's the next step. We now go to promote first row as headers. So that's when you see now that we've not lost any data. We have our product name, product category, sales. Unlike the other time when product name was already gone, this entire, this entire, this entire uh, column was gone. So it wasn't in the data set again. So that's one thing we need to be we need to be mindful of that before we use transpose, make sure that you have nothing as headers. It's blank. Then you do your transpose, you now promote the first row back as headers. You know, that's and that's exactly what we want here. Product name as headers, chairs, chairs, chairs table, and there we have it. So it's a little different from the other from the other one. So, but what what I sense is that what I sensed is that you know look at the first one, transpose. This is the data. You know, if we check here, if we check the first row here, they are all they are all values. They are not, you know, they are all numbers or they are dates. They are not like they are not like our conventional headers. Let's check this first. Let's check this first row. You know, we have a we have something that looks like a header here, but these are dates. They don't look like headers. So that's why I think that was why Power Query did not promote this as headers. You know, once it got here, it left it. You know, it left. You know, it when you brought it when you brought in the Power Query, you know, it just it just sensed that okay, these don't these don't look like headers. You know, so it left them. You know, as values in the table. So, but unlike the other one. You know, let's go to our navigation view, which is what we have in Excel. If you see the first row, they look like they actually they are not values. They actually look like headers, you know. But no power query won't detect. Okay, are these true headers or they are just ordinary text or ordinary ordinary letters? So it might not be that in, it wasn't that intelligent to detect to detect that. Okay, these are not meant to be headers. So having not detect, detected that, so what he did he was he promoted. Oh, it promoted them as headers immediately because they, they don't look like values to it. So I think that's that's the difference between the first and second example. So it's just for us to be extra careful while before transposing to be sure that we don't have anything as headers before we apply our transpose uh, step. Then have then after that we cannot promote what we have. I've haven't, I haven't transposed, we cannot promote whatever we have. As headers, so it's just a function of we looking at the table and say, okay, what next do I want to achieve? Okay, okay, I need to, I need this one to come up. Okay, what tool do I need to use? It's already there for us. I need to promote this as headers, you know. So the moment you are familiar with the various tools we have here and when and how to use them, I'm sure you have your, you have your uh, job easy. You know, the job is I've done once. You know what you want to use, the tools you need to use to really carry out each and every step. So I think this is a good, good place to stop uh, today and for this week. So next